This is Scott from Tonar Ski Tools, and this is the FKSKS 3100 Multi-Tuner. It is a tuning tool that allows you to tune both your side and your base angles. The degrees on this tool are adjustable from zero to five degrees in half degree increments, simply by a little dial at the bottom of the tool. It ships with a 70 millimeter mill file that comes with the tool. Optional inserts are uh, 70 millimeter DMT diamond stones. It'll also fit the Moonflex 70 millimeter diamond stones. For more aggressive side edge filing, it'll also uh, accept a 70 millimeter Panzer file. As I mentioned, the, the tool ships with a file and the file Pretty handy, comes with a directional arrow to indicate the direction of cutting. And so you may need to change this when you receive the tool, depending on if you're right or left-handed. Also, some people like to push the tool. Some people like to pull the tool. I'm definitely in the camp of pulling the tool. If I just find it a little easier. And so I would set the file in this direction and the arrow is pointing to the back of the ski now and can cut. Now most people are unsure what their side angle might be. An easy way to figure that out is to take a sharpie just color a section of the ski edge. Insert a diamond stone, usually your finest. In this case, I'm using the red. Most skis will be a one, a two, or a three on the side edge. I'm gonna set this at one. And lightly run the stone back and forth on the edge. And when you see it cleanly take all of the color away, you know that you've hit the right angle. So you may need to adjust it. I usually start it at a two and then we'll adjust it to a one or a three, depending. I know this ski is at a one degree, so I've, I've set it at a one, but that's that's a pretty simple way to figure out what your, your angles are. And once that's determined, depending on the condition of the edge, you may need to file. Um, you don't want to file all the time. You should really, for the most part, be using stones to maintain uh, maintain your edges. And the idea is that filing is unnecessary all the time and generally will remove, well, will remove more material than stones. So you want to just limit your filing to uh, the time when the ski needs it. If it's too dull and the stones won't bring it back or there's been kind of excessive damage. So I've set this at a one degree. I know my base or my side edges are one degree. In this case, the tip of the ski is to the left and the tail is to the right. And I'll show you on a, on a short section of the ski. I prefer overlapping strokes initially to cut the angle. And then to finish with a light full length to blend it all together. And again, this is another opportunity to use the Sharpie method. So if you're unsure of when you've cut that angle, again, put the Sharpie on the edge. And when you've cut it away, you know, you know that you've hit the, the, the angle that you're after. And again, you do not need to be heavy handed. The file will do the cutting. This tool is kind of unique too. If you don't have a, a, a vise, which, which I've got set up here, you can simply set the ski up on whatever surface you have, and it can be tuned flat. I prefer to have the ski at this angle or even vertical. It just gives a more natural hand position. 
when you've done the first edge, you need to rotate the ski around. And now the tail will be here, the tip will be here, and you'll still be filing in the same direction. So you always keep the base away from you so that you can get this, this natural feeling um, holding the tool. After you've filed the edges, then you can proceed to uh, your stones. In this case, I'm putting in a blue DMT. And uh, the stones can be used, unlike the file, they can be used back and forth. So you're polishing out with the marks left behind by the file. Super easy. This is also the technique that you want to use kind of on a day-to-day -day basis to maintain the sharpness of, this, of the, the edges and to knock any dings or burrs off. The blue one's a great go-to um, stone for doing that. Okay, once you've done the side edges of the ski, you can simply move the insert, drop it in to the top of the tool, and this puts it in a position to do the base edges. As you can see, that was set right up against the base edge of the ski. You want to make sure that if you do have a different base angle than side angle, that you take this time to change it. In this case, this ski is a one degree base, one degree side, so I can just leave it like that. Diamond stone in there, and you can move it back and forth along the base of the ski, and that will remove the burr that you rolled over from filing. Uh, it'll also polish up the, the base edge. You want to avoid using the file as much as you can on the base edge. The only time you would really use a file on the base edge would be setting the angle initially after, say, a stone grind. Other than that, stones are what you want to use. Because what can happen is people will inadvertently try to chase that angle and over time will increase the base angle, say, from a one degree to a two degree or more. And once you get to that point, there's there's nothing you can do but grind, stone grind the base, bring it back to flat, and start over again. So stones are your friend for the base edge. Some extra tips for using this tool. Make sure to keep your file um, clean. A, a, a brass brush works really well for taking out any material left over from filing. When filing the, the side edge, I usually keep a, a, a cloth of some sort and every few passes down, I just give the ski a wipe and this will keep metal material from getting between the tool and the base and causing scratches. Some people like to use painter's tape or in this case, the toco tape, toco base tape. And it's just a very thin tape you can put on the base. And what that does is allows the tool to, to run on the tape versus the base. And that um, will reduce any kind of markings. Really any markings left behind by this tool will ski out, you know, as soon as you're on the snow. So it's not a, not a big concern, but if you're doing a lot of filing, this is a great technique. And of course you use it the whole length of the base. And it's nice, it can be reused multiple times. Just peel it off and stick it somewhere up on your workbench uh, so you'll be ready to use it next time. Keep the, ba the, the plate of the tool clean. To do so, you can just use a bit of rubbing alcohol and a cloth to wipe that base down with any kind of debris or wax anything that might get caught on it. Keep it clean, because it is what is going to be in contact with your bait. And that is the FKSKS multi-tuning tool, the 3100. Hopefully this video helped you out with any questions you might have had. And thanks so much for watching.